one of our Hampton Roads heroes is receiving a Veterans Day gift a little early, but it's one that he's been hoping to get. 78-year-old Air Force veteran Clarence Jones moved into his home back in the 60s after leaving the military. And he says his house condition has taken a dive since. Penny Side's Kara Dixon spoke with Jones, and Kara, a really meaningful gift for this gentleman. Yeah, it definitely mm -hmm. is, Tom and Anita. And with the help of local businesses and organizations, Mr. Jones got a new roof for that home. Now, the estimated cost is upwards of $9,000, but the experience and gratefulness Jones is feeling towards those who helped him is priceless. 78-year-old Clarence Jones Jr. has spent many years here on Adams Court. Since 1967. That's a long time. You better believe it. The Air Force veteran bought it with the help of the GI Bill. $103, I think it was 11 cents. I've been here ever since. And ever since, he's taken care of it until recently when he says conditions got so bad, he tried getting a loan to fix it. So I got desperate. I even wrote a letter to Oprah Winfrey. That's how desperate I got. Through that desperation, he somehow got connected with Habitat for Humanity, where he was told he'd have to wait two years to get his roof fixed. Four months later, here I am. A blessing. It's part of Owen's Corning Roof Deployment Project that gives back to vets like Jones. I'm very proud to be here today. Pam Standish is the president of Premier Roofing and Siding Contractors, a local Owen's Corning contractor. She first heard about the project three years ago at a seminar. Her husband instantly wanted to get involved. Unfortunately, he passed away before we were able to do this, but um, in memory of him, I am very happy to be able to, to um, follow up on his wishes. It's his wish and Jones's wish that was finally able to come true. A Veterans Day gift for this vet, one he will never forget. I don't think anyone would be blessed in the morning I am today. Now, Jones has also been driving buses for Hampton Public Schools for nearly 20 years. He wants to thank all his fellow bus drivers for praying for him to get help. Now, the Habitat for Humanity says they're also seeking to help veterans. You can get that information on wavy.com. I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.